Brilliant idea, brilliant. All right, so let's make a new profile. Got all these guys here. Let's see, what are we gonna call this guy? Mm, metalhead, there we go. All right, metalhead. Ooh, this is like a planetarium character. Oh, we got a question here. Uh, saw ranged units with armor destroying abilities. Will we see melee units? Yes, you will see melee units. Um, and in fact, those drones are melee. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the drone attack me this next playthrough, so you can see that. Yeah, good question. So there's melee units, units with armor destroying, shield destroying, units with shields. Um, yeah. And there's also, there's also units that have different, um, like, attack. They're not damage types, but they're, like, uh, attack types. So typical AOE, so area of effect. Um, a lot of the explosive units have area of effect, so when you attack a unit, it's going to hit the uh, units next to it. And there's also... Um, piercing so units that'll do some damage to one unit and then it'll also do damage to units behind that like in a in a line in a row so yeah good question thank you let's let's see let's go with let's go with the geranium or not geranium terrarium 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 head. Let's go with Terrarium head. And yeah, one special thing about those melee units um, is they ignore shields. So it's, if you guys have seen uh, or read Dune. It's a little bit like like that. <clears throat> Alright, so what should we ask him this time? Why do you need my help? <laughs> well, Metalhead, I'm being hounded by an infestation of Solaire. Searching for you for some time now. What happened to me? Don't worry about it. It's cryoamnesia. Of course. Whatever that is. All right. <clears throat> so, this little fun guy is going to teach you how to, how to play. So, these are going to pop up. You're going to have a video on the side. It's going to show you all about all the controls and have helpful little instructions along with uh, helpful little hints about which button to use. So for here we're gonna press the spacebar and we're gonna move to the sides, zoom in. Right. Looks like you know how to look around. That's great. Focusing on a planet or a star system will lock you to it. Okay, so hover over and left click on, oh, not Taurus, but Chalan. So this is just explaining, hey, if you press the right mouse button, it's going to deselect stuff. Need to train some infantry. We're going to need resources. A small stockpile of ore left on Chilan, but not enough. You'll need to extract some more ore from the planet. All right, that was that was the in-game explanation. Out of game, it's turn-based, so every turn you're going to have ore that you mine from the various planets. You're going to have energy that you uh, get from the gas giants, and you're going to have supply that you. Uh, it's going to limit how many units that you can 
uh, sustain in your empire. So <clears throat> right now we just have one food here on Chilan. Not a lot of food growing on this lava world. Not, not great for crops. Um, so uh, if I look at the planet, I'll see that it has three ore left and it is going to give us one ore. It's going to tribute one ore per turn. So if you acquire multiple planets, for instance, if we acquired this planet, this has five ore left and it contributes five per turn. Uh, those are going to be more balanced in the, in the final game. The, things are a little unbalanced just to make things easy in the, in the tutorial and demo so people don't have to worry too much about these numbers. Um, but it's good to know because that's a big part of the, of the strategy is you've got these different planets in, this, in the systems and each of these systems are going to connect. You're going to have these big maps um, where you're managing your campaign as you uh, try to search for things or destroy the enemy, stuff like that. So total there's like eight uh, ore left in this system. And right now it's contributing one ore to us. And there's we've got one of the two potential food. So there's just some, some additional heads up that kind of lets us know, hey, there's or eight or left, you're getting one per turn. Because it will run out. And when it runs out, you're gonna have to move, you're gonna have to fly your ships somewhere else. Maybe a, an ocean world, something that has a bit more food, and better resources. All right, so, uh, oh, I jumped ahead, I jumped ahead. So it just wants us to click our avatar to add our turn. That's gonna contribute that one money. And we're gonna see this go down from three to two because we'll have mined one ore from there. All right, so now we should have enough to train some troops. Uh, are we in danger right now? What are we, why are we train, train, train troops? <clears throat> So we're gonna click this guy. That's gonna bring up our planet manager. Like I said, this is a, a measure of how much is left. And we're gonna open up the build tier button. And we're gonna build one. All right, here comes the drone. Well, this would actually be the, uh, the enemy coming down to us because we we're already on this planet. <clears throat> so they're attacking us here. Right, so we're going to place our troops down. You get a chance to place somewhere on this side. We're going to pick somewhere on the left here. So uh, get this guy out of my way. We'll go up here this time. Alright, be careful you'll be able to command that initiate trooper to move our attack, but not at the same time. Okay, so we can move. Uh, so someone wanted to know about the melee unit. So this guy's a melee unit. Um, so we're gonna just be a little silly and get too close. So that did a little bit of melee damage. So his does five damage. <clears throat> it does take into effect the armor, so we only got four uh, damage to our health. But if we had shields, it would ignore those. So uh, the Varagon typically use their shields quite a bit, and they don't have quite as much health. Um, so melee is, is pretty important to get past uh, their shields. All right, so we'll take this guy out.
because it would really only take two more hits and we would be dead from that. Right, so this lone nano swarm is not a big threat because it doesn't do as much damage. It's only going to do two damage to us, about half of what the, the drone was doing. But it does two each turn. Got kind of like three turns left. We do six. We should be okay. If you're just joining, this is uh, the first mission in Void Eclipse. We're just playing through uh, the tutorial. This is just explaining how to how the basics work. So we're keeping it simple with just two units. Uh, but in the second mission that we're going to pull up, there's there's a bit more strategy going on. All right, we're pretty close. We let that drone attack us, so uh, we'd be dead the next turn. Let's not let that happen. All right, so we got some of our experience, admiration, unlocked. So we're gonna use that experience this next mission. So experience carries over, uh, so does your reputation. So your reputation here is gonna affect your dialogue options, things that are available to you. And then your experience is what you're gonna to use to upgrade your units. So we're gonna go do that. This guy actually has shields. So, uh, so the next mission uh, that you play after this one, uh, we're gonna introduce some of the shield mechanics. We should have that one in, in probably in the next week. I think my music is a little excited. So, uh, what was the thing? Solaire drone, one of the simpler forms of Solaire. They're part of a larger hive. So the Varagon Empire is this uh, empire of aliens that, uh, it's a little hard to see, but on the inside they've got, they uh, develop on like a, a water, icy, watery world. So they're a bit like squid or octopus style. And they use technology to get themselves around in space and on land. So inside there it's like uh, like Krang from, uh, from Ninja Turtles. All right, is there more you wanna know? Yes. Why did you wake me up? So this here, that's going to be something that's going to have a requirement for a certain amount of admiration. It says five right now, but um, it's actually just one. So we need some admiration here from the reputation. But we luckily have some of their admiration from uh, the previous mission. So we can ask that question. Why did you wake me up? Your android cortex is capable of storing vast amounts of data. This ability makes you an invaluable asset in the Varagon War effort. Interesting. So you have prior experience with Varagon military campaigns, but your memory is fragmented. You need to explore the sectors you were previously in command of. That should help improve your capabilities and restore your vital core memories. And you can scroll up here on this chat, or this uh, explanation, if you're ever curious about if it ever goes a little too quick for you. All right, anything else you want to know? Uh, no, let's, let's, let's get on with it. There was more there, but let's, let's get into it. All right, so you're gonna unlock different units. 
So it's just telling me, hey, go to the research screen. And you're gonna see these unlocks. So if you've unlocked other units, uh, you're gonna be able to research them uh, by spending some energy that you earn uh, through each mission. Uh, and so you'll start, as you play through each mission, you'll unlock different units, you'll start to learn how to use them, and so you'll start to uh, create more complex strategies as, it, as the time goes on. And you'll also choose which missions you go on, so um, you may, you may, you'll probably unlock, you'll definitely unlock the spy um, in the prologue, but in the future you may decide to take a route through the missions that unlocks the engineer first or unlocks uh, the scouts first, whatever you think is going to help your strategy. Because um, you might have a more defensive strategy or a more offensive strategy. You might be upgrading these units, these lower tier units, to make them more useful. Or you might just say, you know, <clears throat> these guys are cannon fodder, I don't really need them. I'm going to upgrade, I'm, I'm going to get straight to the second or third tier and upgrade those. Um, so there's a lot of different choices that you have to make throughout the game. And I'm pretty excited uh, to, imp to have all these uh, different abilities for you guys to try out and to test out and, and combine with all the different um, units that are out there. <clears throat> so to start off with, we're going to do one of the simpler ones, the uh, explosive rounds. So this guy right now just does regular standard projectile damage. It's just going to take the damage, done, um, it's going to go... It's going to be stopped by shields. It's going to uh, be reduced by armor. <clears throat> and any remaining damage to health is going to take away um, that amount of health. With explosive, that's also going to do damage, but it's going to destroy any armor that it comes into contact with. So shields can block explosive, but uh, armor, it's going to take uh, damage straight to the armor. So it's a great way of... Uh, these guys just have one armor, but some, some of the bigger tier 2, tier 3 units have, you know, up, up to 10 armor, so it can be useful to have that to, uh, to, to get rid of some armor and actually get at the, the tank on the inside. Alright, so we're going to unlock that, and we're going to increase our range. So this just increases our direct range by 1. All right, so to get out of this screen, uh, whenever you're in these big screens in the game, you just hit the right mouse button to go back. It's pretty pretty standard for these games. So if I'm in here, just hit right mouse, and that takes me back here. All right, so what's left? Zoom in to Riga, and we're gonna end our turn. And this guy has just got tons of resources, so we're gonna have lots to do here. Now that your initiates are more prepared, let's improve our factories. All right, so we're gonna click on this guy. You don't need to see see that. <clears throat> if you're playing through by yourself, you'll use it, but uh, for me, I already know what we're gonna do. So this is saying you've, you've just increased this uh, by two. So these are the slots in each of these factories. So this is a factory here. This is a tier one factory. We just increased the slots in our tier one factory by one. So now whenever we build tier one units, uh, it's going to build two of them at once. And <clears throat> if we had other units unlocked, so I'm going to go here. No. If I had other units unlocked here, uh, particularly tier one unit, then it's going to allow me to switch that out. I would click here and it would um, let me build a, either a combination of units or all of that one type. Alright, so what's it having us do? 
wants us to left click each initiate to select them. All oh, right, after we built before. So when you build some, they're gonna appear on this planet. You'll see it here. And you'll also see how many units are on each planet with this little heads up as well. So we've got two friendly units here. We're gonna build another two. All right, that takes care of that. And now we need to build a fleet. So let's switch it up. <clears throat> if say you only grab one of these guys and make a fleet with it. So one thing we can do is we can select all these guys and this is letting us know, hey, you didn't, you didn't do what I say, you didn't bring all of them over. So grab all three and you can click and drag, drop them into your fleet. Right, that's just the warp gate. Uh, so it, if this is ever a little too much, there's just too much going on, you can always right click, remove that and just select the fleet by itself. So let's give our fleet a name. Starship, I don't know, Starship 1. So we're gonna send our fleet of four units over to this warp gate. And this warp gate connects to a star system somewhere. We haven't discovered it yet. Um, so as you explore, you're gonna discover, unlock more of the map that you'll see in each of these missions. And it'll get more interesting because right now we just have one warp gate out of here, but you'll have multiple entrances and exits and uh, much more complicated maps. But we gotta keep it simple for, uh, for the tutorial. All right, so we discovered SETI. Low on minerals, decent amount of food. So we're gonna right click and head through there. And I should point out these warp gates, they serve as, as choke points in the, in the strategy of, uh, of moving your troops around on the map. So. You can actually hold them like a planet. You can have battles there. Um, so it can be useful if you, if you have the troops to do it to, if, you want, if you're really trying to keep uh, planets from uh, being taken away, you can hold these choke points. So let's say you had <clears throat> four or five planets in here and you can't protect them all at once. Uh, it can be useful to, to place your troops at a station and try to hold it there. All right. So there's a lot more of them in this battle. They're not injured like last time. Make sure that we still have our stream going. Oh yeah, nice. Cool, cool. Just making sure. All right, so you can place your units first uh, because you're attacking. So up to four troops enter on, on the left side. So we get to go first and we're gonna stay a little bit away from these drones. personality as these guys come in some sound effects always fun all right so uh, we're 
I'm gonna try to keep using our movement and our range to keep our units out of out of these this melee range. Um, if these units get up too close to us, start doing five damage. That's gonna that's gonna be tough to deal with, <clears throat> especially since once we kill them, uh, they turn into one of these nano swarms. Uh, so if we're not careful, even though we might kill the drones, the nano swarms could finish us off. So we're gonna try to take out those drones from a distance uh, while we can, while they're melee. Um, so let's do that. So let's see, how what's our range here? Not quite. So we do have an increased range, but it's not quite enough to hit. So we might just, we can, we can go forward, but then they'll meet us in the middle. So we might just wait. Might move this guy down here so that depending on where they go, we can take care of that. Okay, so let's let's take out the armor of these guys. So you'll see this one's gonna do one armor damage, so that's uh, coordinated with this armor type over here. <clears throat> what I talked about before was oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna it. Boom! So his armor's gone now. That means we'll do full damage when we attack him. And if you take a look, they've got one armor, twelve health, and uh, they do melee damage. So someone asked earlier in the chat. Um, about the different damage types. So there's melee, there's the standard range, and then uh, if I look here, there's also energy damage, which is gonna uh, destroy shields right away, which is helpful because otherwise you're gonna have to slowly whittle down the shields. Um, and shields absorb, no, no matter what damage it is, they absorb uh, up to like three or five hits depending on the unit. So energy is pretty helpful for those uh, taking out shielded units. And the explosive, uh, like I mentioned, helps get rid of armor. And the other thing we have is that we have certain units that do different targeting. So right now you're just seeing units that target one uh, card or one unit at a time. Uh, but you'll also have area of effect and uh, piercing damage. Uh, so <clears throat> things get a lot more interesting as you Unlock new units. Actually, let's use our alt. So I could use the alt here, but then it would only do one damage and they don't have any armor anyway. So I might as well use my regular attack with this guy. So that's all I've got. Those three units are done. Now if I had special abilities, I would also be able to use those. So I can't use this explosive rounds because that was my, my primary. Um, but as I unlock some of these special abilities like covering fire or anti-infantry rounds, um, if I'm playing as the Solaire, uh, they have unchecked growth, um, swarm shell, um, swarm shell is where it kind of turtles up and gets an armor bonus. Um, can be useful, especially if they're surrounded by enemy. So as I unlock those, I'll be able to access them from the wheel. And those special abilities, so unlike the alternate attack, the special abilities are going to use some of this uh, focus here that is earned each turn. So you'll have to manage that. Um, but yeah, don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I should, I should mention while these explosions are happening, folks should please, please, please wish us the game. Wishlist the game. It's going to come out in January. 
Um, if you don't know how to do that, on the right side of the broadcast, there's a little add wish list. Uh, you can also install the demo and go give this, if you're tired of hearing me talking, you can go install the demo and give this a try yourself. Um, and the demo will be up at least, at least through uh, the rest of the festival, uh, through Wednesday. But I might, <clears throat> I might try to add one more mission in there and keep it up for an extra week. Um, we'll see. I've gotten some great feedback from people um, already just in the last few days about the controls and the tutorial, wh where they went wrong. Uh, one thing that people had trouble with was uh, this right click to drag. You have to hold uh, and drag for that. And when people are first learning the controls, they were they're opening up this wheel. And then they go here, and then they didn't know how to get out. <clears throat> so I removed that wheel in the first mission when you're just learning how to move around. Um, so you're not overwhelmed by all the different controls. All right. Oh, this guy better move because he's going to get attacked here. I could do something. I could go to the other side. Let's just do that. Why not? All right, I better attack this. I was distracted and not paying attention. I might, <laughs> I might not survive this encounter. All right, so they did some melee damage. Four damage. That's gonna. Oh, and they're focusing on this guy. They don't like him on that side. All right, I'm gonna <clears throat> jump back here. Maybe I can attack them, distract them a little bit. We can take this one out. One less unit attacking us every turn. Uh, and normally you'll have a warning about. Uh, if your units are in danger, just as a reminder, a little yellow warning will pop up, <clears throat> letting you know, like, hey, if you if you hit end turn, or if you attack and you get stuck there, if you don't move, um, it might die or or get injured. And if I go over the enemy, it's going to show me their attack range and also how much damage they're going to do next turn, which is important as you're planning out your strategy. It's nice to know. Um, how much damage they're going to do. So this guy's not going to hurt us as long as we're careful over there. This guy will. So let's move out of his range. So melee units, <clears throat> I recently made a change. They, they can only attack uh, squares that are directly horizontal or vertical to them. They can't attack diagonally. And that seemed to kind of open up um, some space for ranged units to work. On, on these maps. Um, so I, I kind of like how that turns out because it makes sense that you can hit something with your with your gun or whatnot and have the melee unit not, not be there unless it's right in front of you. All right. Their turn. Oh, good. So this guy's chasing this one. Uh-oh, they're both chasing him now. <laughs> he might not last. That's okay, because we've distracted this one now. Over here. We'll take this guy. So we'll be able to focus all three of our units on this. And that's a big part of uh, the strategy in this game, is uh, learning, knowing when to, when to move, when to focus fire on a unit. If you leave too many units lying around uh, of the enemy, they're... They're going to overwhelm you. So not quite. So it's still going to attack next turn. This guy's got to run because he's not going to last. And that's what this is letting me know. Hey, like one hit from the drone. This guy's toast. All right, so I'm going to move him out. Run away. Oh, and we, I should also mention, uh, if you like what you see and you want to know more, um, the Steam page doesn't do it for you. 
you can come chat with me. Come hang out. We've got a Discord. Uh, it should be up on on the sidebar of our, our broadcast right now. But if you go to our Discord, um, all the latest info is there. Chances at earning a beta key for um, for this fall when I run the beta, uh, you'll be able to play through the prologue and probably a little bit of the first act as well because um, I want to balance out all those units. All right, so they're getting this guy in a corner. Don't have any a lot of good options, but at least I can get away from the drone. Live, live another day. I forgot about their comrade over here. Uh-oh. All right, now, now we're gonna go after him. Okay, All right, this guy's gonna die next turn, but I'm kind of okay with that. I'm just gonna let that happen. I'm, I'm gonna try to. So <clears throat> that's interesting. So I can move here or here. I still am not gonna be able to attack him, but because I have my increased range, I'll be able to attack next turn if I move up here. So I'm gonna do that. I don't want this guy to get attacked, so I'm gonna move him up and get one free shot. Do one last thing here. Do a little damage. That guy's gonna be toast, I think. Yep. Boom. Broken in a million pieces. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, I can take this out. The drone died, turns into these little nano swarm particles and reforms. Still a problem. So we've got a lot of units. Still taken out. All right. <clears throat> Almost in our stream. Perfect timing. Difference that needs to go a little slower. You can talk. I thought these were mindless creatures. The Solar of powerful psychic abilities. Don't let them influence you. Destroy it now. Uh, so even though <clears throat> our new companion Zuria is telling us to destroy it, we can. Um, we, we'll earn a reputation of of people fearing us. We could try to capture it, earn their earn some respect, and or we can just let it go. Uh, so let's try to capture it. All right. So that gave us some points on respect and unlocked our uh, spy unit. So if I go here, you'll see that we're earning different reputation based on the choices that we make. Um, and as you go, you're going to unlock different dialogue options uh, and fun little tidbits in the story. And, and also, you, <clears throat> you'll earn uh, certain benefits. Like sometimes you'll, if you have enough respect, you'll some troops will join you, or uh, or they won't join you if they fear you. All right. So that's that on the demo. I'm going to jump over. Just give a shout out to all the Kickstarter backers. Thank you, thank you. Super, super helpful. Uh, your support has gone a long way. And now I'm finally able to, to give back and uh, have, the, have the backers play it and try it out. And I brought this demo out here so that <clears throat> get a little bit wider audience and get more people trying out the game and uh, hopefully joining up, wish listening the game and come into our come into our chat and 
let us know what you think needs to be changed, what uh, what stats you like, what what you think the ability should do. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear all your thoughts. So all these people were super helpful. So I think that about does it <clears throat> uh, for my live stream. I'm gonna, I've got this recorded, so uh, I'll put this, keep this up here. So if uh, you're just joining, uh, you'll be able to keep, keep watching and see me play through the first two missions of Void Eclipse. Once again, please wish list, please download the demo, give it a shot. Uh, and you can always pop, if you see any bugs or anything like that, obviously um, we know there are bugs sometimes in demos, so. Uh, go over to the Steam community, go over to the discussion board, go over to Discord and let us know um, what, what bug you saw and uh, we'll get that, get those bugs squashed. All right. Uh, thanks for, thanks for playing. Thanks for hanging out on stream, guys. Take care.